also known as Dragonfly7673, and you're watching Dragonfly Soars. I am recording this on Monday, December 17th. It is about 6.20, and we are one week away from Christmas. Um, Christmas Eve, anyway. So, I am very happy. I have, last week I said all my Christmas projects were done, and this weekend all the wrapping got done, so... I am very happy about that. Plus, um, I can show you a little bit of projects because part of what I was working on um, with the help of my mom were ornaments for my team. Um, every year we do a uh, ugly holiday sweater um, day <laughs> for our team and then we all go out to lunch and I usually give put together like a little gift bag and you know let them know I appreciate them um, take them out to lunch etc so this sweater is actually from my um, this is my ugly sweater I got it at Goodwill for four dollars I realize that not everybody thinks it's ugly but it is not my style and I will tell you a secret it is 90% uh, acrylic and 10% polyester it is boiling hot but let me see if I can back this up and give you guys a little better view of the sweater. I'm going to stand up slowly. So, that is my holiday sweater. Um, it could be worse. <laughs> um, anyway, we always go out to lunch. And this year's um, gift bags had... Ornaments and candy canes and Reese's peanut butter, chocolate bells and holiday Tootsie Rolls. Um, there's one person who hasn't got hers yet, but I'm pretty sure she won't see this. If she does, well, sorry, Renny. <laughs> um, anyway, there's one person who doesn't actually work in my office, and so I actually mail her package, and I was going to mail it on Friday and realized that I was pretty sure she wasn't going to be in the office anymore and I didn't want it sitting on her desk so today she actually gave me her home address so I mailed it there but anyway I'm going to show you real quick pictures of the ornaments and the package So, and I was really happy when I found the, because the trees have the, the buttons on them and the cross stitch, and then I found those gift bags that had the, the buttons on the thread, and I just thought it was so fitting. Um, but those were from kits from Girl on the Rocks Etsy shop. So I will link that in the show notes. Um, I did the green trees, Mom did the wood trees, and then Mom did most of the ornaments. Um, apparently she got on a roll and just kept going, and then she saved me like three. <laughs> but honestly, I was so um, swamped with things I was trying to get done, I just appreciated it. So, And the guys all thought they were pretty cool. So the there were seven people. There weren't quite enough to go around for everybody to get two trees, so some people got two trees and just two ornaments. So some people got one, and a couple of people got one tree, and like four ornaments. Something like that. Anyway. And they surprised me with a gift. Um, they got me a candy cane full of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, because those are my absolute favorite. Everybody at work knows you can bribe me to do stuff with peanut butter cups. Or at least let me know that you appreciated something that I did. <laughs> but... One of the things they got me, or well, the main thing they got me was towels. These are from Sonoma Lifestyle. And these, without ever having seen my bathroom, these exactly match my walls. I mean, they're like a shade lighter, but they're the exact correct yellow and everything. Um, I'll post a picture quick here. So... 
So, I, without sending a spy in, I can't believe how well they match those. Um, so, they, they actually got, got um, you know, hand towels, bath towels, but I didn't bring everything. You guys get the idea. So, and I love that because it was a little more personal than just a generic boss gift. So, it made me smile. So, this week, um, because all the main projects were done, we actually, I actually got time to do some stuff. I did spin, but I didn't take new pictures because I'm still in the same black that I was on that fiber optic. And so it looks exactly the same. I mean, I actually got a lot done. I only did it one night, but I actually got a lot done that night. But it's still, it's still black thread. It looks the same. Um, but I had told you guys I ordered two of the fiber optic in the new colorway. Well, they actually came today. So this is Rouge Violet Cerulean Gradient. Um, and I got two of them. So I can uh, apply this on a bobbin, apply this on a bobbin, and then two ply them together and get some really nice yardage. Um, so I was really happy with that. That came today and they're just gorgeous. So um so I did get some spinning done, but I, like I said, I didn't bother bringing it to show you. Um, I also got, I don't remember where exactly, oh, by the time I got last week's to post, I had six rows left of my shawl. Um, like I said, they are long rows, even though they're easier rows. Um, I'm not going to pull it out, but I am two and a half rows done from the bind off, so... Today I picked up a crochet hook to do for the bind off. Um, it's a crocheted edging, and uh, I somewhere I must have a size C crochet hook. But for the life, I mean, I know I have like a full set. I can't find it, but that's all right. As soon as I don't need it anymore, I'll find it. Um, but. I worked on that a little bits at a time, and then, um, because it, it was kind of a goofy week, because I talked to you, I re last week, I didn't record on Monday, I recorded Tuesday instead, except for it didn't actually post right away, because Blip was being obnoxious, um, I actually had to recompress the file and create a new one, and then it was fine, so luckily I always save... I saved the original and then I saved the new file, so I didn't have to re-record or anyway, anything. I just had to recompress it because I save all the bits and pieces until it successfully goes to blip. Anyway, so then Wednesday there was a going away party, holiday party, and I didn't get out of that until seven. And then I came home and I was kind of futzing with blip to get it to load, and I was just exhausted so I did nothing that night um, and then Friday was another party um, and this one is from our contract company and it's kind of a weird one because I only know the people that are associated with our company there's all these other people from other companies that I don't have a clue who they are um, it's kind of like going to somebody's wedding where you only know a handful of people and you, the rest of the people you don't know, except for they mingle less. So, but it was okay. Best friend went with me, and my team was there, so we hung out and we stayed there for a few hours. Left there about nine, so I didn't do anything really that night. Saturday, I went and got my hair cut and colored. Um, right now, it looks weird because I let it halfway dry this morning before I combed it, and it did strange things, and I. She did a lot nicer, um, but the color I like. So, uh, and then I did some of the wrapping, and then we went to go see Hobbit, 
during which I worked on the twitchy socks. Now I did look back to see where the last time you saw the twitchy socks. The last time you saw the twitchy socks, I was just starting this green stripe, and now I'm just ending this green stripe. And almost all of that was Hobbit knitting because I haven't, I haven't hardly pulled these out. Um, so. I knit on them a little bit when I had my mammogram, but I don't remember if I showed you at that point. I don't remember which episode I told you about the mammogram compared to uh, where I was. But the last time you saw them that I could find was at this green stripe. So quite a bit done. There's still a lot to go, but um, I already know I have to see The Hobbit again because my son wants to see it, so I'll get more knitting on it done. And then, so the only the other things I have to tell you, the I want to thank Willow Fairy, um, Helena of the Willow Fairy Knits podcast. Now she's been kind of on a hiatus because um, she's pregnant and she they bought a house and they're moving and all this is happening all at once. So she hasn't been podcasting lately, but she still has plans to. In fact, she just posted in her group asking, you know, what would you like to see. So she uh, sent me a random pattern. Um, she was catching up on my podcast, and she saw the one in loving memory um, right after Carrie passed. And so she sent me a random pattern just to make me feel better because she was just watching that. And oh, she sent me, it's a Born to Knit pattern uh, by uh, Joanne Landon. Uh, it's called the Edith Hat Pattern. Now this is only the first page. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the picture. So there is another page that has the chart. Most of this is a chart pattern. In fact, I could be wrong, but I am fairly certain because this was only a two-page pattern that it is only a chart and there is a chart for some reason it comes across those two files in Ravelry so there's this page and a chart and then there's like an updated chart that's a little easier to read but I without looking at them closely I think they're the same chart it's just that one has grid lines and is a little bit easier to follow but anyway I don't believe aside from the, the basics of how to knit there are no written instructions for this design you know, not, you know, knit two color A, knit three color B type thing. Nothing like that. But I really like that. I think it's very pretty. And I don't know what I'm going to make it out of, but it is made from uh, fingering weight yarn. So I think it actually might be pretty to do one, color, one solid and one uh, gradual color change. But I'll have to think on it. So, other things going on. The My sister and I are going on a mini yarn crawl later this week, I hope. Assuming the snow doesn't hit hard. Um, we're hoping it's just mini because it's the couple yarn stores that I go to. It's the Wisconsin Craft Market where my mom works. Um, they've added so much to the yarn department that we have to include them. Um, and then the uh, Sousier, is that right, in Verona, and then um, the, the one in Mount Horeb. It just went right out of my head. Um, anyway, those are the three that, I, that we're going to. Um, and during this time, I'm going to be looking for yarn for crosswords at the coffee shop. Um, and Sadie from the Yarnivore podcast, also known as Blue Ruin on Ravelry and Plurk, she is doing a Fal Cal, which she also did last year. And Fal stands for February Animal Lovers, and then K-A-L is Knit Along. It's also Crochet Along. But what it is is it's blankets for the Snuggle Project. Um, it's going from January and February. So... I will be holding a knit-along in my group, 
Now, last year what they did is they had, you know, like um, the podcaster with the most people participating um, won something. The podcaster that did the most blankets won something. And there was all just a whole bunch of drawings. We're pretty small. I don't believe we could, you know, we're competing against people like Dan of Nittables, who is just fabulous. Um, I don't believe we're going to be able to get most blankets. But we will hold our own knit along contest. And then if you want to double dip in other people's, go ahead. Um, don't. You can list Dragonfly's sores, but I mean, I think we can do go ahead and double dip. But I think you can. I don't know. I haven't seen the full rules for this year. We're just supposed to kind of get the word out that we're going to be doing the Snuggle Project in January and February. So, along with that, I told you that this week I would tell you about knit alongs for um, the knit along idea I had for 2013. Now, I really love the fact that, like, Dramatic Knits has a knit along that's just tell us what you knit. Tell us what you finished this month. Doesn't matter when you started it, whatever. You finished it this month, post it. You're good. You know, it's not like a specific pattern or even a specific type of pattern because it always seems like when somebody's doing a knit along for hats, um, not counting charity, but somebody will do a knit, knit along for hats and I'm in the middle of doing a scarf. And then later they're doing a scarf and I'm like, I just did a scarf. So I like the fact that they have one that's just generic. So. Allison from Australia actually suggested doing something with birthstones, and I thought this was a fabulous idea. So um, I'm going to post the birthstone chart here that I am going to work off of. So each month I'm going to say, okay, January is garnet, so we're going to be looking for projects that are in reds um, and at least 50% red. Um, when Katie was doing the click for babies they had to be 50% purple in order to count. That's how we're going to do this. It has to be at least 50% of the birthstone color. So January is garnet that will be red. Um, when we get to uh, I think it, yeah April is diamond that month will be a sparkly month. So you know some that one won't have to be 50% because nobody needs to wear 50% sparkle. So that one will be a special month, but we'll talk about it as we get there. So the biggest thing to remember is that January will be red. Now, if you make a red snuggle, you're all set. You've now got a snuggle entry and a, and a garnet January birthstone entry. So start thinking about that. I will post more. I will start the birthstone um, thread just... It's not January yet, so you can't start it yet, but I know just it, to start getting the ideas going and then to answer questions. So, and then we'll just keep going down the row. Um, some of them, like July is ruby, but rubies are more of a hot pinky red, so we'll go more with like, um, so like I'm thinking, you know, January's a red red, and, and July will be more of a hot pinky fuchsia-y red. Um, Maybe we won't do 50%. We'll figure that out. You know, if it seems like it's starting to get more too difficult, we'll figure something else out. But you just have to finish something in that month. Now, if it just so happens that you are already working on a red project and you finish it in January, good for you. You're all set. So I'm not going to say this has to be started in the month. It just needs to be finished in the birthstone month. So... Hopefully that's not too confusing. We'll clear it up as we go. I mean, I always tell my team, we got to we, we, we start with something, we get some ideas, and then as people ask questions or as we start working through it, we smooth it out. So that's where we're at. We're at the, here's some ideas, here's where I'm thinking. We'll ask some questions, we'll smooth it out. So that's everything. Um, I finally did get around to taking pictures. I finally remembered when there was you know, a sun out, well, actually the sun wasn't outside, it was pouring rain, but there was enough ambient light that I took pictures of things that I showed you a couple weeks ago, so I'm going to post those at the end. And I am done, and I think there is pizza waiting for me downstairs. <laughs> so, 
I will talk to you guys all later. Bye now.